beat that trap, Barry. And you can pick him up on the snaffle if you feel he gets a little deep in the pole. And again, you're always going to have that stallion issue. You know, he's got a nice neck. He's still got a little bit of press up there. You have to make sure that you can always cover it. Because there's always going to be that judge that can't tell the difference between what's muscle and what's actually press. Open the left hand, show the shoulders where to go. That's it. Good, send them forward in a line today. Or, you know, medium, good. That's it, I just want, I just want a little bit of length of neck in the medium on him. Good. Circle right there, 10 meters. And then I want you to do two medium trucks. I want you to go K to B, correct. And then turn right away and go B to H, the two short diagonals. Up in the pole, and then out in the neck. Up in the pole. Collect. Big collect. There. And go. Right. Good. Collect. Up in the pole. That's it. There we go. And one more time. Sorry, a little late there. Up at the pole and then out the neck. That's it. And again, collect up at the pole. You can lift him straight up on that snapple if you want. If he doesn't get it, you gotta show him how to do it. That's it. Good. Good. Help his pole come up a little bit. Yes, you can raise your hands. And go. Pull up, blank it. Pull up, blank it. Pull up, blank it. You're always thinking at any time, I'm going to push you forward in and I'll kind of a light medium canter. <laughs> See, now that was something that made a trigger. <laughs> Go ahead. Better. And circle right, 10 meters, right there. Because he thinks, he thinks he's going to change, but you're going to block him before he can. Send him forward on that circle, still a little too stuck. There, open your hands up, like literally, like kind of like flap both fists right at his mouth. Soften and give up the reins and go. Yep, flap forward and go. That's it. There, thing forward. Because he's literally almost getting himself into pirouette canter there. Too much in place. And go, 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 right there, both legs. Right there, there, there you can be your boyfriend and kick him in the ribs. Good. That's it. There, you can eat that. Actually, you're good. I was going to say you could drop out a little bit of the curve, but you have a good connection on that curve right now. Okay. If you, if you feel like you want to, you always can. That always is a, that's a judge dependent thing, too, is you got to work in the full ride over. Some judges are all weird if you don't touch the curve. They yeah. think there's something wrong. The guy that hit himself in the chin with his knees. Yeah. That's the mental image you're going for. Up, help him up. Good, better. Still have a long way to go, but that's what I want you thinking. Good, keep that, yeah, keep that forward thinking canner. And go again. Go up, pick him up on the snapple. Think of making him hollow. Yeah, he doesn't even want to come hollow. <laughs> Yay, and length it a little. Then we're going to come back to the other direction. Good. There, think medium while you're plie. Go away. That's it. That's the feeling I want you to get in the other direction. Across the diagonal. Lengthen, but keep them up. And then you can kind of give one half haul or so into a flying chain in a very forward canter. Without working on the tempies, I can almost guarantee a lot of because he's not forward enough into the bridle. Good. That's it. Help now. Circle down there. That's good. Better. That's it. And one more time. That's it. Really nice. Caught there. Ruben, that's your collective shot at third and fourth level, Terry. 
Does that feel a lot different than what you're used to? Any I mean, bake for wise? Yeah, you have it, yeah. That's what you have to create. Yeah. But that shoulder in on the circle is not that I If he loses it, if he doesn't fix it by thinking medium, you circle and push his butt around on an eight meter circle, okay? Excellent, Barry. That's the difference of a six and an eight. There you go. Slightly, slightly more bend in the rib cage on that, not the neck. That's it. Very good. A little bit too much angle there's on four tracks. That's probably open that left hand. That's going to give you the bend. There you go. I mean, the, the angle varied a little, but once you get used to keeping that hand in the right place, did you again feel as soon as you moved your hand out, he bent more? You've got to stop locking that outside shoulder. Leg yield away from me. Open that left hand. Show him where to go in the leg yield. Take the right leg off and then hit him. There. Yes. That's what we want. Yeah, you want to feel him jump away and jump bigger. He got bigger for two strides there. Put that leg on and open your left hand away from his withers. That's it. I will, yeah, you want to, there, you're feeling him grow up out of his shoulders. That's what he needs to be doing to really raise his scores up and move on. Because they're going to nail you with that at PSG. Third level to end of that gray area level. Open the left hand and show them how to grow again. Keep showing them. Yeah. Yes. Good. Very excellent. Really good in your hand. Good. Again, I want you to feel that any time you want it to go forward and grow out of the shoulder, it happens like that. Okay. Now. Now start working a little bit of haunches in on the same size circle. Yep, bring them toward me. Make the circle smaller and smaller like you're doing a big pirouette, but you're working it in. And now leg yield away. Yep, and make sure he goes out of his shoulders. Open that left hand a little. Good. Just a little. It was better, but not quite enough yet. I want him to go, ooh, the outside hand open. I better go to it. Good. One more time, haunches in. And as soon as you feel him getting a little stuck underneath you, he can sit, that's for sure. That's it, like the other way. That's a, that's a great prep for your flying chain or your pirouette. Because they have to know they have to move off of the inside leg. Connection is finally really established. Come across the diagonal now. Now I want you to do a little bit of half pass right on the diagonal. Then I want you to leg yield back to the left. There. Now, change your flexion, then your legs. Good. Push them forward. Right away, leg yield out, away from that change. If, if you don't like what you feel, okay? Again, you're addressing things, breaking it down for him, instead of just thinking forward, okay? Really good. Same thing coming across this one. I want you to half pass two steps. Leg yield two or three. Straighten. That's it. Good. Straighten, tackle, and change. Better. Yeah. Are these yeah. here a little clean with it? Clean yeah, it was good. Okay. Good. Pass two steps. Let go back two steps. That make it air. There, make them straight. Pick them up. Good. Wait. Half pass, leg heel, change. Good. Walk and appraise them. Good. I mean, there's a lot more you have to do on building on that, but you get the idea of where to take him. He has to grow, and he's more than capable of it. 